the date that he's talking about is Saturday, March 5th. That's when that AWA World Heavyweight Championship belt will be put back on the line. It's been held up now, but he put back on the line against Hennig and, of course, uh, the grappler. Now, we talked a little earlier about the Golden Boy. Golden Boy Mike Golden. And there's a picture of Golden Boy. Assassin, you told me that he was a for, uh, former... Former Florida heavyweight champion. This guy, uh, Golden Boy, Mike Golden, he is a, 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 a great wrestler. And, uh, man, he is somebody to be reckoned with because uh, former Florida heavyweight champion, former uh, North Carolina state champion, this guy is a, 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 a great wrestler. Well, he's going to be coming in on March 5th also. That's, boy, Mark, better mark March 5th down on your... By the way, Golden Boy was the blonde in that photo. Well, March 5th is when Golden Boy Mike Golden will be here. John Cuss, this, uh, this avalanche still like a wild man, like I said, like a bull with his head cut off or something, man. He, he is hot, man. Look, Sandy Barr's having a tough time just keeping him back. Now, look, uh, these Southern Rockers, I'll tell you, Assassin, these Southern Rockers are two of the finest tag machines that I've ever hey. seen in my life. Southern Rockers are the finest Pacific Northwest Tag Team Champions that I've seen in a long time, but without any doubt, uh, Don Cost. Hey, Don Cost, just one more time, you know, I want to tell everybody, Washuga, Washington, big bunkhouse battle royal there in Washuga, okay? Then we got Hood River, one of the biggest wrestling cards in Hood River in a long time on Thursday night. Hillsboro on Friday, another big night of, of professional wrestling in Hillsboro at the Armory. It is at the Armory Thursday in Hood River at the Armory in Hillsboro. Then next Saturday night, right back here at the Portland Sports Arena. Steve Doe in trouble again, right back at the Portland Sports Arena. The Grappler putting the Pacific Northwest title against Mean Mike Miller. The Destroyers against Coco Samoa and Billy Two Eagles. And we all see what happened here tonight. We all see the determination of Mike Miller's face. We all see the worried look in uh, the Grappler's face. But then we see the, the uh, determined look in the Grappler's face on March 5th where he has that world title uh, is up for grab. It's on the line, you understand? You bet. The action just never, never stops. And now Avalanche makes a tag with Moretti. Moretti coming in and picking up right where Avalanche left off on top of the head of Steve Dahl. Dahl is in a world of hurt right now. The team of Dahl and Peterson own the only fall in this match. Best two out of three to a TV time limit. And right now, the dog and Dahl are in there. And Dahl with a body slam. Boy, that was a tremendous move by Steve Dahl. Beautiful move, you know. Then, then look at here, Peterson firing up. Then on the 28th, on the 28th, we're in Lebanon, in Oregon. Then uh, on the 29th, Oregon City. On the 1st, Lapine. On the 2nd, Medford. Wrestling. Oh, oh, what a backdrop. Tremendous back body drop by Peterson. And Moretti's found himself in the wrong corner. And now Peterson makes a tag with Steve Dahl. And Sandy Barr is trying to keep Avalanche back in his own corner. As Dahl gets ready to whip. Moretti into the ropes and a drop kick by Dahl and Moretti is down like a dog. Yeah, he's down like a dog. You can say that again. Uh, again, Don Cox, I have to say that March 5th, there's no TV. It's the Jerry Lewis telethon. Uh, AWA world title held up. Grappler versus Kurt Henning. Who will be the world's heavyweight champion when that night's up? All you people throughout the Pacific Northwest, I suggest you get your tickets early because that's going to be packed. Yeah, well, that's not the uh, Jerry Lewis told him. Well, there's a right hand by Avalanche as he's got Scott Peterson against the turnbuckle. And he's working on Peterson, Avalanche is. And, and Peterson is, is definitely in the wrong corner right now. Yeah, you can say that when you're stuck in a corner like now. Look at Moondog already choking Peterson, man. And referee Sandy Barr trying to... Re trying to maintain some semblance of control and order in there, but that's impossible when you got yeah. people like Avalanche and Moondog Moretti. Yeah, a little bit of double team there. How about the determination to rip the crip for Oliver, trying to say he's going to be in all these towns, automatically trying to say like he could beat Brian Adams. I predict rip the crip for Oliver, you better have your suitcases packed because I predict it's not on TV tonight. I predict you're going to be packing your bags and hitting the road when the American Ninja gets through with you. That's right. You know, I didn't think about that, but he was he was up here just talking like he was going to be here forever. And uh, that whole thing could end tonight. 
Hey, it's all, it's all, man, like I said, it's, it's, it's all so exciting, you know, professional wrestling, when you see it live and in color, it, the, 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 the excitement of it, live and in color, you have to be here at the Portland Sports Arena to know it, to feel it, to, to see what it's like. Oh, you got that right. A lot of that color is black and blue right now, especially from the hands of Ed Mar Moretti as he slams Scott Peterson right into that turnbuckle, makes the tag with Avalanche. Avalanche coming in, and look out, look out. Oh, hard smash Man. across the chest. I still, I still uh, I have a lot of determination for these Southern Rockers, you know. They never quit, or else they wouldn't be the Pacific Northwest Tag Team Champions, you know. Oh, you got that right, and they are not afraid to put those belts on the line. They, it seems like they defend those belts every week somewhere in the Northwest. Avalanche working on Scott Peterson, the crowd getting behind Scott, and providing that fan power. Avalanche pointing oh, over to you got to pull it through, brother. you got to pull it through, Peterson. Hey, I suggest whenever you see Owens promotion coming to a town around you in the Pacific Northwest, you come down and see it live and in color, baby, because they bring you the finest professional wrestling's got to offer. And without you people, uh, professional wrestling wouldn't be with us today. And you are the greatest wrestling fans they are here in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, amen to that, too. Come out those ropes. Close line by Scott Peterson. Avalanche is down again. Now the tag is made for Steve Dahl. The tag is made with Moretti. And it's Dahl and Moretti in there again. And boy, look at Dahl. He's all over the dog. In the ropes goes Moretti. Moretti took a, an elbow. And now a drop what a kick. drop kick by Steve Dahl. One, two. Oh, Moretti just kicking out, man. This Steve Dahl's firing up too, but Moretti stops him there. Well, you know, the Southern Rockers only need one more fall. Oh! Man, oh man, that's going to be uh, the second fall right there. Oh, look at that. Hey, he's fighting fire with fire. What's good for the goose is good for the gander, you know, that's what they say. I don't know how in the world Steve Dahl can even turn his head right now. He took a pile driver, one, a single handed pile driver that just, boy, every vertebrae he's got has got to be screaming. But he keeps fighting back. Look at that. Right hand, and down oh, goes Moretti. Dahl fires him up, Moretti down. Hey, let's not forget that Pacific Northwest title match next Saturday night might not be on TV, Don Kosh. You bet. You know, if you've got a club or a school or church, a group or organization of any kind you'd like to raise money for, you can book professional wrestling into your area to raise that money. Give Barry Owen a call right there on your screen, area code 503-484-0840. And that, give Barry a call, and he'll give you all the information you need to know about booking pro wrestling into your area to raise money for charity. What a drop kick by Steve Dahl. Moretti down again. Let's see one, two, almost three. You know, before we get out of here, I want to remind everybody that Dutch Savage is going to be at the Oregon Correctional Institute 2 p.m. Saturday, February the 27th. We're talking next week. So you'll go down there and see Dutch in action with his drug and alcohol program, his Northwest Outreach Program. It's a fantastic thing to witness at the Oregon Correctional Institute at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, next Saturday, February the 27th. Dutch Savage always doing something for the community. Very good at Dutch Savage, you understand? In the ropes goes Steve Dahl and an elbow by Moretti. Dahl goes down. And look at, oh, Moretti came down on nothing but the mat. This is why the Southern Rockers are the tag team champions. Uh oh, will Moretti wait? Oh, Moretti stops him. Oh, he just, look out, here comes Avalanche. Well, we got them all in there right now, Assassin. Every, well, Sandy Barr did get Avalanche back outside, and Scott Peterson rolled back out of the, or Steve Dahl rolled back under the ropes. So now we got Moretti and Scott Peterson in there. Just, we just got a Pier 6 brawl. Pier 6, man. Beautiful drop kick by uh, Peterson. Another drop kick by Peterson. The bell is rung. Everybody's bell, I think, is, is being rung. Outside, oh, Avalanche just fell on Moretti. Outside, that's like an Avalanche falling on you. This is why they're the Southern Rockers, baby. That's why they're the Pacific Northwest Tag Team Champions. Oh, man, All right, the winners are Scott Peterson and Steve Dahl. We'll be back with a special interview after this time.